Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Good morning. It is 11.21. I've been up for like an hour probably, but I'm just now getting out of bed. I need to go make some breakfast because I'm really, really hungry. So let's go get ready. Okay, I've already brushed my teeth and washed my face. I just have to do my hair. And it is pretty nasty looking, I would say. I need to go to the salon, to be honest. But I just don't have the money and I also just don't feel like it. Because I have to drive a pretty, pretty distance to get there. I'm going to try to wait until I go home and go to my hometown hairstylist because that'd be amazing because I love her and she does a great job and also she doesn't charge me the price of my kidney to do my hair also she's gonna be like oh my god can I cut my hair last time I last time she saw me my hair was like not to here it was like to probably here so she's gonna be in for a surprise but I had to cut it off just because it's all broken off because I didn't take care of it you know me, so I'm just hoping and praying that it, it actually grows back. It should grow back. Like, give me a year, and then we can have this discussion. Bam. Right on my chin. Okay, now I'm gonna go downstairs and make some breakfast, because I am a hungry, hungry hippo. Okay, hi, friends. So, I'm making some French toast now. I have some old Hawaiian bread. It's like sliced bread. It's not really like true Hawaiian bread, I don't think, but... It's a little sweeter than normal bread. I'm about to make this turkey bacon. So I'll probably make one, two, probably three pieces for myself because I really do like turkey bacon. And I really do like regular bacon, but I just can't have it. Because if you're new here, I am like beef intolerant for real. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna put it in the air fryer for like five minutes, six minutes each side at like 400 degrees. I think I'm gonna have to Google the recipe again because I always forget what it is. toast it took me forever like I was pan frying it and it was taking me forever so I'm just gonna bake the rest of the um, French toast I've never really made French toast I don't know how it's gonna turn out so let's try it it's okay like I can never make it well and I don't know why and it's like always like the inside of my bread's like so soggy I tried I'm still gonna eat it though I also overcooked my turkey bacon but it's cool it's a lot later. It's like 3.14. So it's been like three hours since I vlogged, I think. I've just been watching a football rerun. Um, I'm about to get myself a scalp massage, but here's my scalp massager. It is so cute. The pink and blue sold me. Like the color combination is just undefeated. I'm trying to aim to do daily scalp massages like for maybe three to five minutes every day. And also it is, it is actually really good at getting up like the dandruff, the dirt, whatever is in your hair. It like really lifts it off your scalp. So I really, really like it. I don't know if it aids in like hair growth or anything like that, but um, I'm just trying to get any benefits I can. So I'm willing to try to do this every day and see what happens. Once again, give me a year and we'll see how my hair turns out. how I know this thing like works is because like when I am actually doing my scalp massage and like once I'm done I'll go look in the mirror and just I don't know why because I can see like all like the dirt and dandruff because I have like a really dry scalp I have like dandruff so but it's so obvious on my color hair because it is pitch black so you can see literally anything that's like white or like light colored so it's just like so obvious when I have dandruff so that's one downside of having really dark hair <laughs> this is like so relaxing oh my gosh it just feels great okay I put my cloth up literally on top of my head because I was laying down on the couch <laughs> but I'm about to make some salmon I have this corn fresh salmon from Sprouts and I get all my meat like pre-marinated because it makes my life easy and it tastes good so I got lemon citrus so we're gonna throw it in the air fryer 400 degrees I don't know how long yet but yeah and then uh, what am I gonna put on the side I think I have some broccoli in here that could be good we have some broccoli from Costco just throw it in the microwave okay my salmon's done let me show you I cooked it at 400 for 10 minutes I feel like that's actually not bad looking yum okay here's my um I guess it's not dinner it's lunch it's 428 even though it's kind of late but I'm just having some steamed broccoli with, uh, with butter on top, salt and pepper, and then my filet of salmon. Okay, 
hi guys look at my hair see like all this under part of my hair that's where it all broke off i think i've shown this before but um i feel like it's growing back like it's still like touching my neck it's not like super short anymore so that's good um yeah she'll get back eventually honestly i've always struggled with breakage right there um just not as high up as it is so these hairs should be like the normal length of my actual hair but it's not so that will grow back easier but i don't know about the under part i don't know but anyways um yeah i'm just letting my hair breathe even though i look insane it looks like i have a mullet slash like a dragon vibe going on but I don't know, I'm at home and I'm chilling, so it's okay, I guess. I'm like trying to justify it to myself so I don't like cry about how ugly my hair looks. Actually, that was, a, I shouldn't have said that. That was very mean to myself. Anyways, um, I'm editing right now. Uh, Y'all just saw me import all my footage and get all my gear together. Because honestly, when I edit, it's like a whole process because, a whole production, excuse me, because I just have a lot of steps in place. But honestly, I like editing. It's fun. It's like kind of fun creating your own story out of like clips you filmed throughout your days. Oh yeah, also, I don't know how this whole 4K thing is going yet. Obviously, um, my camera was like overheating after I was filming for maybe a couple minutes maybe five minutes uh and it started to overheat and stop working in 4k so i was like okay and i'm also filming in 30 frames per second instead of 60 so it's just a little different i don't think it's just a very powerful camera for 4k purposes but 1080p is perfectly fine but anyways that's why i came here to say i'm about to edit and i don't know what time is it time update it's six o'clock on the dot okay hi guys i'm making dinner right now i'm making a mary meat chicken pasta like i said and I'm about to taste test once I'm done. Transfer my pasta over. And I only made enough for basically like one serving, but I made a lot of leftover pasta just in case I wanted to use it later in the week. All right, now let's fold it in there and hopefully this turns out good. Okay, you guys, I'm about to do the dishes and then relax for the night, or relax, I'm gonna edit a video, but whatever. <laughs> it is so late it is 2 47 a.m i just got done editing my video um now it's exporting but i'm about to go upstairs and go to sleep and then hopefully by the time i wake up in the morning the video will be exported i can upload it to youtube but i don't really have the time or patience to sit around and wait for it so i'm gonna go to bed see you in the morning peace out I brushed out my hair. Uh, it doesn't look as bad as I thought once I like combed it out and it's a little bit straighter now, but I still need to get it done. But I think I'm gonna wait until I go home so it can just be easier that way and I don't have to go in California because I hate going to California. Anyways, here's my outfit of the day. Once again, just chilling, obviously. I feel like I chill a lot. But uh, this hoodie is thrifted from this store in, was it Cannon Beach, Oregon? I don't remember. It was a beach in Oregon. I, went, I was with my friend Kylie. Love her. Um, and then my pants are from PJ Harlow and my slippers are from Target. And yeah, that's it. I cleaned the kitchen last night, as y'all saw. And I'm like, oh, like that feels so freaking good. Okay, I'm going to make a smoothie. YouTube video to um, YouTube. This is the one I was working on last night, and I don't know how long it usually takes. Maybe like 30 minutes. Actually, depends on how fast my Wi-Fi is going. But I already have my description all typed out, um, and then I need to work on the title, 
and upload my thumbnail and then add it to the playlist and it will be good to go. See, this one's only saying it's gonna take 15 minutes, so probably because the Wi-Fi is super fast right now because I'm not on it, like on my phone, and then you know, upload a thumbnail too. I don't know what thumbnail to do, this one or this one. Because that's the name of the video. I'll probably go with that one just because it's more accurate to the title of the video. But I don't know. I always do two versions of a thumbnail. And if I feel like one's not doing well, I'll just switch it out. And that is that. Okay, choose. Bam. Okay, now I just have to go through all like the checks and stuff, video elements, and then visibility, and then I'll be done. Okay, you guys, I'm about to warm up my lunch. Um, I have leftover... Marry me chicken pasta that I made last night. So I'm gonna warm it up in the skillet though, just so I can kind of make it like uh, as brand new as possible. I'm gonna take my teal skillet. I have this skillet from the Pioneer Woman from Walmart. <laughs> and we're just gonna add like a little bit more like sauce. Like we're gonna add a little bit more heavy cream and like maybe a little bit of chicken stock just to make it saucy again. Cause you know, I feel like Alfredo like solidifies almost like in the fridge oh okay before i eat i need to book my flight back to alabama now i should have done this way long ago and now i'm really paying the price literally because it is so expensive but i mean i saved up for it thank god ahead of time but still i don't want to blow all the money i saved up for obviously but i mean a cross-country flight is always just so expensive anyways i really do not i'm not I'm not feeling this. But I'm gonna look on their low fare calendar real quick and see what they got. Cause I'm flying Southwest, I don't know if I said that. I'm usually a Delta girl, to be honest, I love Delta, but that was when I lived in Atlanta, so it was super easy and honestly cheap to fly Delta. But now that I'm not living in Atlanta, it's like, oh, wow. So I'm gonna find a flight and then share with y'all what's going on. I like can't bring myself to do it. <laughs> this sucks. Oh man. Well, at least I can check two bags for free. Love you, Southwest. Even though I don't think I'm gonna check a bag, I think I'm just gonna take a... Actually, no, I might have to. Mm, mm, I don't know, because I have to fly with my graduation gown and I'm not getting that lost. I cannot lose my, my cabin gown. That would be like, oh my God, that'd be like the worst case scenario. Okay, I purchased it. Oh my God, your trip is booked. I mean, I'm really excited to see my family and stuff, but oh my God, it is so expensive it's insane at least i got my flight secured there and back so that's off my list of worries problem is it's leaving in two days <laughs> and i don't have a thing back so i need to probably do that tonight or tomorrow i'll probably do it tomorrow i don't really want to do it tonight okay guys it's a little bit later now i don't know what time it is it's 7 10 i'm about to warm up my dinner which is just literally salmon and broccoli but i think i'm gonna make some instant mashed potatoes on the side but i needed to look for um an anniversary gift for my husband and i because it's our one year anniversary coming up like really really soon anyways i'm about to make some food i'm so hungry okay here's my salmon and broccoli and then i made some instant mashed potatoes yum okay i just finished eating dinner i have some leftovers so i'll probably eat it tomorrow for lunch but now i'm gonna do the dishes and then probably just wind down for the night So I completely forgot that I have this Amazon package. I forgot what I ordered, to be honest. It's been sitting on the kitchen counter for a while now, so. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I got this adapter for my camera. There we go, I got this adapter, and this goes straight into your phone, and it is an SD card reader. I have one for my laptop, but not for my phone. I honestly did not know these existed, but this is so handy, because I can just put my SD card in my phone and just have it on my phone instantly, instead of having to use my laptop and then airdrop it, so. Yeah, this is really nice. Okay, guys, that's it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the 4K. Uh, I don't really know if it really makes a big difference, but I might switch back to 1080p just because it's a little bit easier for me to work with. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next vlog. Bye!